24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hallelujah. Glory. We're about to close. I'm just going to ask all the young people to come to the altar very quickly. All the young people. As a matter of fact, and anyone that needs special prayer, just come. Let us close with that prayer. We will not allow you to leave without us doing this prayer for you. Everyone that needs that prayer, just come. Come. Man, I got Joe, man, come and do this prayer for me. Come and do this prayer for me, man. I'm going to ask those prayers for the presence 24 17 to just lay hands. Lay hands. Just begin to lay hands very quickly. We're just going to close. Because moving on, we want to know that we treat worship with respect. We're not worshiping our friends. We're worshiping the God who created the heavens and the earth. That's the God that we worship. That's the God. Glory, hallelujah. 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 Before I pray, I just want to be a leader to the Holy Spirit. The atmosphere is set and it's charged. The presence of the Lord is here. And when the presence of the Lord shows up, it's nothing normal. When you read the scripture and the presence of the Lord shows up something supernatural, something amazing, something extraordinary happens. So I feel the presence of the Lord in this place. And I know that the Lord wants to do something amazing and something awesome tonight. He doesn't show up for show up sake. When he comes, he comes with power. Do you believe that? And, and, and power is not a thing in the past. It's not something that just happened in the Bible and it stays there. Power is now. Power is today. We are given power and authority. Jesus said we shall do greater things. And I believe that because the word said it. Do you believe that tonight? Do you believe that tonight? Do you believe that tonight? What, do you, what are you expecting God to do tonight? Anything you're expecting, raise your expectations. If you want money, you want money. Am I right? And don't limit God. If you want a million dollar ask, say a million dollar. And I say, God, you want a million dollar, but boy, if a five, if a five thousand you can't give me, eh, eh. My God, I'm a puny, puny God. If you want healing, ask for healing. If you're depressed and you want joy, ask for it. If you feel like you're at a crossroad and you just don't know which way to go, ask the Lord to direct you. His presence is here. And I just want to let you know, you see when we worship, it confuses the enemy and shuts him up. So tonight we have silenced the enemy with our worship. And we have set the atmosphere for the presence of the Lord to just sit on us and work in our favor. So young people you are here, I know you have so many things going on. The older folks, some of us, now I said, oh, we're not old. Some of them, <laughs> they think that you don't go through stuff, but you have it hard. But I want to remind you tonight that the Lord is with you. Your people, I know, so just repeat that. The Lord is with me. The Lord is with me. Say it like you believe it. I know it. The Lord is with me. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Ramanda na mama maseke. Robo no robo mugre na na makunduri anda na ba shata. Rekende le le be si tala na ma shata raba makuto. Robo mo si katala na ma she. Rama mama maseke le 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 shata la na makata. Robo mo si nereke shata la na ma. There's some people in the house that believes that the young people, they believe in our young people. If you're one of those persons, just come and surround them. Come. Be still and know that I am God. Be still. Lord God, 
I pray that you rest your hands upon them. I pray, Holy Spirit, that your hands of love and your hands of compassion and mercy be rested upon them even now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God, you see their pain. You see their suffering. You see their heartache. You hear their cries, mighty God. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the God of love, the God of war, the God of peace, the God who was and is and is to come, the God who parted the Red Sea, the God who rescued Daniel from the lion's den. You, God, are with them throughout all these heartaches, throughout all these triumphs, throughout all you are with them. So God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, come into their situations now. Come into their situations now. And those God who don't know you as Lord, and those God who don't know you as Savior, and those who don't know you as a healer and those God who don't know you as a deliverer and those God who don't know you as a friend give them an encounter now in the name of Jesus 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 We silence the voice of the enemy even now. We silence the voice of the enemy even now. And I say, spirit of suicide, I command you to go now. Spirit of suicide, go now in the name of Jesus. You will not help them, devil. <laughs> so don't even try. You can come in as you want. But uh, we are filled with the Holy Spirit that says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the living God would raise up a standard against him. So God, raise up the standard in their houses, in their schools, in their surroundings, in their coming out, in their coming in. Raise up the standard God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have your way in their lives. Have your way among them even know God. Let none of them be lost to death, to gang violence. None, Jesus. We cover them under your blood even now in the name of Jesus. We cover them under your blood in the name of Jesus. And we call it done. We say everything that is supposed to be theirs, we call it done. School fee paid, it is done. Peace of mind, it is done. Depression, it is gone. Confusion, it is gone. I declare that you are no longer a slave. You are no longer a slave. Because God has elevated you to 
your position that is higher than where the devil wants you to be. You are seated with Christ in heavenly places. healing just you have some sickness some pain and you need healing hold up your hands I'm just this is what I'm asking those who don't want healing step back those who want healing come to the front this is serious matter Those who need healing, come to the front. Come to the front. Let me see your hands again. Hold hands. Hold hands. for greatness, don't forget it. <laughs> he will supply all your needs according to your riches in glory. According to his riches in glory. The Lord said to tell you, you will not die. Purpose is marked on your life. He has been talking to you. He has been directing you because of fear you tend to shut down but in the name of Jesus I cancel fear over your life now Hallelujah. I speak boldness in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus Hallelujah. speak to him for his dreams God Jesus restore his visions Lord Fire! Begin to burn Holy Spirit. Every abnormality in his body in the name of Jesus. Begin to purify Holy Spirit. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. As I said to you, I'm not going to pray. This is going to be short. All you have to do is believe. Do you believe? Answer me. Do you believe? So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I command every sickness, whatever it is, every sickness to go now. 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 In the name of Jesus. And I call it done. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And shall we just bless the Lord? Christian, would you like to give your life to the Lord today? Call him out. Would you like to give your life to the Lord today? Come talk to him very quickly. Would you like to give your life to the Lord today?
feel like you feel like you are to me. this one, Father. Stretch your hands towards her. Touch this one, Father. Draw, draw her to you, Father. I thank you for her life. I celebrate her life. I celebrate where she's coming from, Father God, and where you're bringing her to. I thank you for her. Hallelujah. Thank you. Is there anybody else that came here tonight? You're not a Christian. Just raise your hand very quickly. You're not a Christian. You came here tonight. Anybody? Anybody else? God bless you. Can we all stand? Can I just invite all the members of the 24-7 team to come and join me up here? Every member, every member of the 24-7 team. Not only the ones who ministered tonight, but every member who's here from the team. Every member. We're closing. Shall we, bless the Lord? Bless the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord? You know what's funny is, I literally heard the Holy Spirit say this very same thing just now. I'm going to ask everybody in the house of the Lord to stand. Just stand. I'm going to ask Jace just to go in the middle. You know, there's a stigma that has been said over our youths, and each time that a young group is formed, and so the enemy has a way of wanting to snatch them away and to pull them all sorts of way and to bring all sorts of different form of things upon them. But Bertrand, if you are in God and of God, you know that unity must stand. And so if you and if we are unified in the house of the Lord tonight, I'm going to ask you to stretch your hands to this group. And we're going to make a declaration. Because the thing is, when God, when God called them, he, he already anointed them. And when God already set them on the mission, he already told them what to do and how to go about doing it. God knew that Jace would have been the center of it all. And so he knew that these young person would have been the person to lead. But let me tell you, as the Holy Spirit revealed it unto me, Jace, is not everybody that is here, or everybody that says that they are with you, are with you. But let me tell you something, Jace, is that the God who stand, and the God who fight for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he is already here tonight, and he already is fighting for you and your ministry. Some persons say that you prophesy, Jace, and them like, it's like them that say, one of them, you know, come through you, and them kind of want the, the believer, you say, but let me tell you something, let them stay in the wilderness and wonder. It's for them to wonder, not what God is doing. God always stands to the word, and he is doing the word. Hey, Jesus. Oh, glory. There is war happening in the realm of the spirits even now. Ah, I wasn't going to do this tonight, God. But Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare, God, that the flaming sword from heaven will be drawn even now, God. And you begin to cut to some the ever sword and ever spirit mighty God has not of you that has laid them out negatively over this ministry. And I pray in the name of Jesus that as this ministry go out mighty God 24 7 God to do your work God that glory will follow them. I pray almighty God that heaven will bow down mighty God and people will be healed. I pray almighty God that deliverance will come to not just people's house but to their household even now in the name of Jesus 
to even know when I pray, Almighty God, that heaven opened wide and the glory and the anointing of heaven begin to fall afresh upon each and every one of them in the name of Jesus. As a Lord, I pray even now in the name of Jesus that their sleep will not be sleepless, but they shall rest knowing, Almighty God, that you are warring for them in the name of Jesus. So even now, God will pray, God, for their store baskets. Mighty God, they have been giving their services over and over. Some of them them tired, God, but Lord God, even in their weary state, God, I pray that you will restore unto them the joy of their salvation. Even those in the audience, God, who do not believe in them, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord God, they will not care, but they themselves will arise and awake in the morning to pray for each and every one of them. Because when men shall say there's a casting down, we shall declare that there is a lifting up because they are covered under the blood of Jesus. As a we thank you. We thank you, God. I just want to release one thing in the atmosphere. Be careful what you say about the people of God. Be careful what you say about the people of God. Bless you, James, and your ministry.
Brother Clement, you could just join. Hey, my chateau, look who
just gonna wait one more minute because I know there's somebody else so into their lives. So into their lives. So into their lives. So into their lives. Thirty more seconds. So into their lives. Father, for everyone that I've given, Lord, into their lives, I pray, Father, that you will return unto them two, three, ten times, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, I declare that their store basket shall never be empty, and their cups will overflow, overflow. I see the abundance of rain coming over their lives. So even now, God, in the name of Jesus, soak them in your rain, God. Soak them in your rain, Jesus. Soak them in your rain, Father. In the name of of Jesus. And the Lord just said to me, those who have just sown, deliverance and healing is coming. Deliverance and you see, when the Lord speaks, I'm not doing, this wasn't planned. When the Lord speaks, he does something. It comes with something. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands. And as we do the presence 24 7 meetings, we never leave without saying thanks. Lift those hands. Begin to tell him thanks for tonight. Thank you, Lord. Savior. Nothing could be possible without you. I'm speechless, but I know that you are God, and it's so all because of you. So tonight, corporately, we say thank you. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Make some noise for it. Make some noise for it. Hallelujah. What a mess tonight.